Are you currently building websites for clients and you really wish you had some additional resources to help you with your web design business? My name is Daryl and today I'm gonna to introduce you all to 10 really helpful resources that'll help you with your web design business. You ready? Let's go. Number one is tinyjpeg.com. Now you know that images can be one of the biggest factors when it comes to websites being slow. This website right here will reduce the image size anywhere between 50 to 80% per image. So it works like this right here. You would simply take your image, you upload it to the website, TinyJPEG will then reduce the image size and then give you back the original, keeping the quality of the image. So it's a very helpful resource when it comes to reducing image sizes and also speeding up your website as well. Next is WooRank.com. This website will give you a complete website review as well as crawl your website and let you know of any on-page or off-page problems that you might be having. WooRank will help you with on-page optimization. It'll index your website and give you a score for your mobile and also your performance of your website. WooRank will also show you how your website is displayed on the search engine. In addition, it'll help you index your website to make sure that there's no problems with your robot text files, XML sitemaps, or URL parameters. So if you're looking for your own digital online assistant, WooRank is definitely one website to consider. Next is gtmetrics.com. This website right here will summarize your page performance and give you a letter grade based off the speed and performance of your websites. The great part about this website is that it is completely free to run as many tests as you want. gtmetrics will tell you which part of your websites are slow and what you can do to improve the speed of your websites. In addition, the waterfall score can help you determine if there's a plugin on your website that is causing your website to be slow and find out who the culprit is. So if your website's slow and you're just not sure where to go, definitely check out GT Metrics. Next is coloradobe.com, a godsend for those of you who cannot find out what colors to use for your websites. Adobe will recommend nine different modes and give you color palettes depending on what your website is trying to achieve. Are you struggling to find that gradient that you've seen on other websites? By uploading the gradient image, you can actually pick the color codes from that specific image to help you get an understanding of what color was used on certain websites. So if you have a brain fart and you can't figure out what colors to use, definitely check out coloradobe.com. Next is whatwpthemeisthat.com. Have you been monitoring other websites and you swear that using WordPress, but you just can't figure it out? This website right here will let you know what theme that website is using. And in addition, it'll also show you what various plugins are using on their website as well. The great part is this website is completely free, so you can monitor as many websites as you want and spy on as many websites as your heart's content. Next is tools.pingdom.com. If you want to test your website and see how fast it is, this is a great tool to find out. This website will give you a performance grade, show you the page size of the current URL, give you the load time, and it'll also display the HTTP requests. In addition, this website will give you the problem of your website, such as make fewer HTTP requests, avoid URL redirects, reduce DNS lookups, or maybe even using cookie-free domains. So if your website's slow and you're just not sure, Check out pingdom.com. It'll really help you determine what parts of your website need work. Now the same website pingdom.com offers an additional service. It will go ahead and monitor the uptime, the speed of your website. This is great because sometimes your hosts will blame other hosts and say that the website is slow because of your website. However, I found that to be false because I can actually record the speed of the server, check out the load time, the performance grade, check out the uptime and determine who really is slow. Is it my website or is it the website servers? I monitor 20 different web hosting companies. I watch the performance and uptime and I actually have a detailed video of how I use this website to find out if the server was slow or if it was my website. So it's a very interesting competition. So if you want to see that video, that video will be in the description below. So be sure to check it out. So if you're getting good letter grades, but your website's still slow, check out pingdom.com. This will monitor your current host servers to find out that if it's your website or if they just have crappy servers, which happens all the time. So be sure to check out pingdom.com. Next is pixabay.com, my personal favorite. Now, if you're looking for free images or videos, this website has up to 1 million images in various categories and they offer JPEG and PNG. They also have HD, 2K and 4K images that you can use for free on any website that you want. The images are completely free. You don't even need to make an account for this website. So if you're looking for images or video for your websites and you don't want to spend a lot of money and if you don't want to spend any money, be sure to check out pixabay.com. It is a great resource. Next is managewp.com. Wouldn't it be nice to maintain and secure all of the websites from all of your clients from one location? Well, you can do that with managewp. 
If you're managing more than 20 different websites, Manage WP is a must get. Manage WP offers so much. It gives you free backups. You can monitor the uptime of your website. It'll give you a performance check. It'll monitor the security of your website, give you free client reports, and also give you SEO rankings. And the great part, this website will record all that information and you can send it off in a beautiful client reports proposal, which you can send to them every single month. Now the pricing is even better. You only pay for what you want per month. So each premium add-on costs around $1, except for their backup, which costs $2. So the most you'll pay is anywhere between $1 to $9 per month per website. So if you want to keep your clients happy and have them avoid calling you, be sure to check out Manage WP. It'll save you a lot of hassle. Next is PageSpeedInsights.com. If you want to test the page speed from Google and also see how your website's loading on desktop and mobile, this is a great resource. In addition, PageSpeed Insights will give you diagnostics on things you can do and how many seconds it will save if you apply certain measures on your WordPress website. Everyone hates a slow website, so be sure to check out PageSpeed Insights and find out what you can do to make your website faster. Next is freepick.com. Now this is another free website where you can get free images. Now if you wanna create mockups for your clients or for yourself, this website has tons of PST mockups that you can use for free. In addition, they're part of other websites like Flaticon, SlidesGo, and Stories by Freepick, which offer other free services such as free slide presentations and also free icons for your website. So if you love free stuff and you don't wanna burn a hole in your pocket, be sure to check out freepick.com. It'll definitely save a lot of your money. Now, since you made it this far, I'm gonna give you my secret website that I use for various websites when I'm trying to find the phone number for some companies. Have you noticed over time it's become harder and harder to find phone numbers for certain companies? This website will get you the phone number for any company right away. Simply type in the company of the phone number you're trying to find. Get Human will then give you the customer service phone number, new customer number, and any other number they have on their website without even having to navigate their website. So next time you have to call your client's company, just simply type in the company name and you can find it right away and then get whatever information you want from that company for your clients. So thanks for watching my top 10 best websites. What did you think? Do you use these websites? Do you not use these websites? Tell me what you think about these websites in the comments below. My name is Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video guys. Take care.